back to Elm Off The Top. My name's Adam and welcome to, I think, day 20. I think we actually hit the uh, the 20s. This could be day 20 of my daily vlog video as we head towards the end of the year, 31st of December 2021. And we start going to cr uh, cry in a brand new year. It is Boxing Day, the 26th of December. Always, honestly, one of my favorite days of the year. I think I get more excited about Boxing Day than like Christmas Day, only because like Christmas Day is so hectic and exhausting and, and you know, tiring. And while it's enjoyable to see family and eat food and all that sort of stuff, it's just exhausting. Whereas even when I was a kid, Boxing Day was better to me because we had the Boxing Day test. Um, we had the chance to be a bit, you know, relax a little bit. Um, you could actually play with your toys that you know that you got from your Santa and you know the, your, your family and all that sort of stuff. Um, and today was not much different. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I sat down and watched uh, some of the Boxing Day tests, the, the the third test in the Ashes, which was fantastic if you're an Australian supporter, of course. If you're English, if you're an English supporter, maybe not the best uh, be best day of cricket you've ever wanted to see. Uh, Australians managed to knock over uh, the entire English uh, lineup in one day for 185 runs, which is a very, very good start to the third test. These The English are just struggling. They are struggling with the Australian pitch. They didn't get a lot of game time due to, you know, COVID and all that sort of stuff um, last year, or this year, should I say. And uh, and they're just, it's really showing. It's really, really showing for the English. Um, Captain Pat, starring with the ball, as always, getting some really, really important early wickets, including our first over wicket, which was fantastic. Um, I think I'm calling him Captain Pat. I like Captain Pat. Uh, instead of Captain uh, Cummins. Captain Cummins, I like the alliteration there. However, Captain Pat makes me think of Postman Pat, and that makes me happy for some reason. So Pat Cummins is shining, absolutely shining with the ball and showing exactly why he is an inspirational leader and a genuine, great, genuine inspirational um, uh, captain for the Australian cricket team. Uh, so he, took, he, did, he did the early damage, uh, getting out the, uh, the, the top, a lot of the top order. Um, as usual, uh, Joe Root managed to get himself a good start again, get to 50. I think that's the third time this uh, Ashes he's managed to get a start to 50, but then got pretty swiftly uh, knocked knocked over by uh, getting caught in the slipstream from memory. Again, Joe Root is the only guy who seems to be holding up with the bat consistently for England, but even then, it's just getting a start. He's not going on with it, and that's what's going to really hurt them. Um, so, captain, so you know, the captain needs to stand up in the second innings, needless to say, for England. Uh, and then Nathan Lyon went to work in the bottom order. It's, it, it, uh, it's, it appears uh, with a couple of um, wickets here and there from a few of the other from, through the other bowlers. But yeah, all in all, a pretty good day for Australia on the field. Um, you know, knocking over, knocking them over in one day for 185 runs is always a good start to a test um, to a test series for uh, a test a test for Australia. Uh, then, uh, what happened? Uh, Australia came in and we lost one. We lost one. Uh, David Warner got picked up by, uh, um, by, um, what's his name? I've gone completely brink. Starts with A. Anderson. <laughs> I had Andrews in my head for some reason. I just had Andrews. So all I could think of was Andrew, but no, Anderson managed to pick up David Warner, and we sent in Nathan Lyon as a um, as the uh, night watchman. He's managed to stave through for the, for the uh, the few few balls he faced. I think he faced about five or so before uh, the the end of the day came, and they you know go go for a well deserved rest and relaxation for the Australian for the Australian cricket, cricket team. Uh, so yeah, shaping up pretty well. So my Boxing Day was pretty much Australian cricket, which is wonderful. I uh, had a good play with my son. He, he, he got out of some of his toys that he um, he, uh, he got for Christmas from various people, from Santa, from us, all that sort of stuff. His favorite so far out of his a million toys. My mum definitely spoiled him. Um, <laughs> to spoiled him. We, we even spoiled him as well. It's so hard. It's, it's so hard not to spoil a kid at Christmas, isn't it? Just so hard. Uh, so uh, he, his favorite toy so far is he got a Duplo uh, garbage... Uh, garbage man, garbage truck thing. He was really loving that. Um, piecing together, he was actually sitting down. It was it was like the first time that I really watched him concentrate for an extended period of time, playing with something completely by himself, which was uh, so good. That shows me that he's maturing, which is awesome. Um, he uh, loving his bluey. He got he got a big, big bluey toy, and he got a bluey plush and also a bingo plush as well. So he's loving both of those. 
um, and he got this dinosaur spinny thing. Like, you put these little dinosaur eggs into the like into this rotisserie like cupcake rotation thing, and then you press it down the top part, and they spin them around. And he loves it. I I I don't know why. Like, I don't know why he loves it. I don't know why it's it's fun. But he seems to really enjoy it. So those are so far the top three uh, picks from his uh, current list of um, toys. But that's really all, all we've really pulled out. He's, he got so many that you don't want to just give him all. You just want to like sprinkle and give him little bits and pieces. So those, those have been the first three that he's really, uh, sort of first four should I say, uh, that he's really taken a shine to. Uh, me had a great Christmas, had a wonderful day yesterday. Um, I also got spoiled by my mum, by by, by uh, Hugo's grandma, aka my mum. Uh, she she messaged me and said, "Hey, you know, I know I know you need some new shoes, so I'm going to give you some money for shoes because I, you know, I don't want to go pick your shoes for you. Um, but is there something just little I want, you know, you want for for, for Christmas?" And I I just opened on Christmas Day and I said, I, "I'm," I, and I told her, "Like just just go buy some packs of Pokemon cards. You know, I'll open the channel, have a bit of fun. Um, just buy a couple packs for Pokemon cards." She said, she said "Okay." Uh, Christmas Day, open the presents, and I, I'm like, this is this is like a lot of Pokemon cards. She ended up buying me an entire booster box of Pokemon Fusion Strike, which is awesome. I'm so excited to crack it open and all and open it because I haven't got a full box of Fusion Strike, um, and of course I'm looking for that uh, V Max Gengar Alt Art and just bank, frankly the, the regular V Max Alt. Oh, uh, Gengar as well, so we're gonna go hunting on the channel, which is great. We're probably broken in four four, four episodes. Um, I'll do a pack uh, sort of war type thing, so I'll pull out all the pack arts and uh, we'll open in each one of them. So that's exciting. So we've got a full box of um, fusion strikes to open on the channel. That's very very exciting. Um, plus all the fun stuff that we've got in the future as well. I am just nipping up right now to Woolies. Is why I'm in the car on Boxing Day. I've just nipped up to Woolies really really quickly, just grabbing a couple of pieces of fruit um, and some milk because my boy has run out. He's uh, he's He's just gone crazy. He loves his fruit and he just eats fruit non-stop. So um, I put him to bed. Uh, we gave him a bath, put him to bed. I, I gave him a bath, had a play, had a play uh, read a story, and then we uh, put him to bed. So uh, yeah, so I'm just nipped up really, really quickly to, to grab uh, some fruit and some milk and something else. What was it? Sultanas. Sultan. I need some Sultanas as well uh, because he's not going to get through it. Tomorrow is... Uh, <laughs> A pretty free day. I've got nothing planned. Um, uh, apart from watching cricket today, I went over in some friends' houses and had, hadn't caught up with them. Saw how they how they went. So that was fun. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow is officially got literally nothing planned. So I'm really excited about that. Um, maybe try to film some videos or you know just head to the park if it's a nice day. You know, just have a bit of fun and just find some relaxation around this Christmas time because it's been such a busy day. Uh, which means that'll be twenty eighth, twenty eighth, twenty eighth of um of, is that right? No, 26, 27, 27, 27th of December. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do that. So that's pretty much the video. It's been my, my, been my moxie day. It was a nice, fun one. Uh, got a bit of cricket in, which is great. And, um, yeah, just had a bit of a chill, which is hopefully what you guys are doing too, frankly. Um, I got to go in and buy some groceries, so I'm probably going to leave you right there. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, please make sure you like and comment down below if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed yet. I'd like to consider maybe hitting that bell icon and coming along with me on my you. YouTube journey. I got plenty more videos coming out in the future, including some Pokemon cards, uh, cricket cards when I get some more hands on them, and all the fun stuff that comes along with all of that. But apart from all that, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you're staying safe, staying healthy, being amazing, and as always, I will see you in the next one. I just noticed like the walk, the little yellow walk sign is exactly sort of in my window, right in my back window right there, which is pretty cool. Kind of, I thought I thought it was like a smiley face emoji for a second, and then it's just like the walk on the little crossway. Bye guys! <laughs>